Ready when you are. Okay. Adam, tough game out there that sees the points shared this afternoon. Are you happy with the point in the end? Um, I think it's probably fair because I, I don't think we did enough, anywhere near enough to win the game. And I think, you know, we've got to give credit to Rush Oaks for they came and, and played very, very well. And um, certainly in that, that second half, there were long spells, probably in the first 25 minutes of it, where they were, they were the better team. They had the ball a lot more than we did. The use, the use of the ball was better than us and they deserved their equaliser. Um, we just didn't quite get going today, to be fair, but it's um, it's just something for us to reflect on, try and you know improve for the next game. Still, obviously, really early doors in the season. And we just said to the players then after the game that I think if we'd have been offered four points out of the opening two games, we'd have probably snapped everybody's hand off for that. You know, We might have envisaged them coming in, in a slightly different way, but... Um, but, you know, four points were unbeaten still. Uh, you've got to remember we've still got two, you know, really important players that, that aren't really fit and available at the minute. So, you know, Jimmy and Sam. So we're only going to get better, that's for sure. And, um, you know, we're still unbeaten. Four points, you know, we, we'll certainly be better. But let's just set the positives and, and move on to the next one. You went into the halftime break with the lead thanks to a divine set-piece delivery from Will Hayhurst. What was the approach the intent to approach the, the second half? Was it to try and extend the lead or was it to, to soak up the pressure that was bound to, to come and did? No, we, we, we said one of the last things you know that we did say to the lads before they went out was go and just try and win it 1-0, you know, try and start quick, try and get another goal if we can, you know, and um, and we felt that if, we, if we'd managed to do that then you know, it doesn't guarantee that you're going to win the game but you're certainly a lot closer to getting three points but you know, the fir first couple of minutes we, we had the ball and we had them quite deep and we just made some really poor decisions in possession, just just individual errors, you know, unnecessarily trying to force the the, the game when we could have just stayed on the ball and, um, you know, we went chasing it and, you know, ended up playing these traps and they counted very well and gained that territory and, and from that point we, we just struggled really to, to get out for 20 minutes, you know, we, we, we changed a little bit. Um, and just went with one striker and put you know a couple of lads on the sides of the pitch just to see if we could get out down the sides of them a little bit more but that didn't really have an impact either and you know the, as I said earlier the, the goal they scored I felt it was coming and, and they certainly you know deserved it um, but I felt once we once we made the change and put George up top and we had that focal point and, and we you know we went into a back four I thought we looked a lot more fluid with, with the ball and in possession and um, you know that then souls you know get up the pitch get a bit of territory create a couple of opportunities win numerous set plays that we were you know maybe a little bit unfortunate with but um you know you can't you can't be like we were in that first 25 minutes in this league against any team because you know they'll they'll punish you and um you know for that we, we got probably the maximum that we deserved today which which was a point there was a massive chance for us to go back ahead in that second half, Jamie Allen threw on goal, elected to pass it to Miles as opposed to take the shot on himself. Would you say that that element from what you answered there, that element of composure almost, was just the thing that was lacking from this second half performance this week as composed to the Darlington away trip last week? Uh, possibly, yeah. I think, you know, it, it's probably one of them in that particular situation where... If he goes for goal and doesn't score, everybody's shouting at him for not passing it. But then he, you know, he, he releases the ball, and you know, it's probably just Miles obviously can't get his shot off quickly enough, and they recovered the situation very well. I think, you know, for us to kind of kick on and improve, you know, we, we had to be more ruthless and clinical with them moments because we'd we'd withstood quite a bit of pressure and and you know struggled really to, to kind of get up the pitch and and, and create anything. Um, as such in that second half and then you know you get an opportunity like that where you you know you're two two v one bearing down on the 18 yard box you you've got to capitalize on it really because then you know we could be studying uh, having had three points you know and getting a bit more today than we maybe deserve but you know it's um look it's it, we're still we're still quite early doors and you know we've we've had a, a quite a disruptive pre-season where we've had niggles and injuries we've been nursing certain players through um through to be ready for that Darlington game and 
within that team that started today, you've got Cameron, who's obviously new to us, you've got Alex, you've got Isaac, you've got Miles, you've got Jamie, you know, so it does take lads time to just kind of find the feet and, and get used to, to one another and, and you know, we'll, we'll only get better the more time that we're, we're together, but um, just today, generally, we've we just been doing enough to win and, you know, but we'll, we'll take the point when, when, you, when you can't win, don't lose. Touching on some of those knocks and things that have been being nursed, Jimmy Spencer made his first appearance at the league campaign as a substitute this afternoon. How is his return tracking? All right, I didn't really want to use him, to be honest. I was hoping, um, you know, we, we just wanted to give him as much time as we could, to be fair, but um, he's fine. You know, he's trained, he's trained the last couple of weeks. We, we want to, it's born. So, you, you know, the longer you give it, the stronger it'll, it'll get. Um, He's obviously frustrated because he wants to play, but he, he's wanted to play since the, the days you know come out of his sling because that's just the type of lad that he is. So, I think the fact that we're sat on four points when you've got the best number nine in the league unavailable, I think that that's testament to the job that the rest of the lads have done and just shows how strong the group is despite today's kind of below par performance. But you know we're only going to get stronger certainly when you know when you bring a player of his quality back in. You know that twenty-five minute spell where we're we're struggling to get out. That's where you need the best striker in the league because you can throw it up to him when he's isolated, and he'll he'll get you a free kick and get you up the pitch, or he'll you know secure the ball and get the midfield players linking off him and, and get you out. So you know we're we're only going to improve when when he's obviously um, you know back in that that team. But even if he was hundred hundred percent today, I want to start him because it won't be fair on the lads who. Who did such a good job for us last week? So, um, so yeah, we'll have to see what Tuesday brings. Why? And speaking of Tuesday, we're back here on Tuesday night against Kings Lynn Town. Mm -hmm. Played well against them the last time they were here last season. What do you expect from the game this time? Well, I, I thought we played very well against them in both games. Obviously, we drew here. Uh, we lost away last game of the season. Obviously, everybody knows, you know that the that game. But I thought we, you know, we should have been two or three nil up in that game. Uh, Devon, I think Devon had two really good chances uh, of set players in the first 10 minutes and you know they, they just go and punish you like like the best teams do but um, look it's going to be it's going to be a tough a tough game um, like like they all are but um, you know the, the, the reality is you're capable of winning every game in this league but you're also capable of losing every game if, you, if you're not at it today we weren't quite at it and we've got a point um, Tuesday, if we're at it, we'll have a chance of winning, you know. But I'm sure their manager will be saying the same, uh, and they're, they're probably a little bit similar to us in a way where they've they've had a good season. They probably wanted to retain the majority and build on it, and they've obviously lost some really key players that have gone, you know, elsewhere, and they've obviously had to recruit probably more than they would have liked to have done. Um, new manager as well. So they're probably in a little bit of a transition where it's going to take them time to, you know, gel and and establish them relationships on the pitch and, and grow into the season and, and hopefully you know we can uh, make a good account of ourselves on Tuesday and, and get another positive result. Great, thanks for your time, Adam. Cheers.